Hi, and welcome to the very first topic in the Generative AI module of Design Forward. We're happy to have you here. My name is Martha Burtis. I work in the Open Learning and Teaching Collaborative here at Plymouth State University. And I wanna briefly introduce this topic, which um, is really an introduction to Generative AI. Probably you've heard of it. Um, certainly in the last year with um, the launch of ChatGPT, it's been on everybody's minds and um, lots of part of lots of conversations um, everywhere, but in particular, I would say within the realm of teaching and learning, it certainly occupied a lot of our time and attention in the collab. This week, or not this week, but in this particular topic, we'll be um, exploring just sort of how generative AI works. Um, what it is, what it does, what the opportunities are, and what the challenges are. Um, so you're going to find in each of our topics um, this brief introduction, as well as a set of resources, really readings online that you're welcome to explore and annotate if you choose to. There are some questions um, that you can jump into to talk to others, and then some activities for you to kind of practice what you're learning. Um, in terms of this topic, I, I just want to say that there's so much to learn and coming up with, um, like calling the list of resources was such a challenge. Um, I have a bibliography a mile long um, for this entire module, but in particular figuring out what are the best resources to really help people understand um, what this is and how it works. So I do encourage you to explore those. The piece in particular um, by Valentin Tolmer, um, there's a quote from him in the um, slideshow. I highly recommend it's written in a way that even I can understand um, how tools like ChatGPT, how these generative AI tools are created. Um, and then the last thing I, I kind of want to touch on is um, the last few slides in our uh, slideshow this week, which kind of explore um, what generative AI can do as well as um, what we should be worried about. And I will say as a side note, you'll notice as you go through this slideshow, I actually used some generative AI tools to create the content of this slideshow. So I have, according to ChatGPT, what it thinks um, are the best opportunities in teaching and learning for generative AI. I would argue that some of the things it came up with also seem like things that I might be a little worried about. Um, and I'd love to hear people's thoughts about that. Um, but in addition, I've shared some specific research and education tools that you might be interested in checking out. They're really, you know, step beyond just chat GPT, doing very specific kinds of work and tasks for those of us who work in research and education. Um, and then in terms of what we should be worried about, I'll give chat GPT some credit. It's list of the top five things to worry about aligned pretty well with ones that I would worry about, but there were a few more that I added um, on our very last slide, just things to think about. On the other topics that we'll be looking at in this module, we'll be diving into this in greater detail. It's organized around these three concepts of teaching um, with generative AI, teaching what I call against generative AI, and then teaching about generative AI. And those three topics, while they're somewhat distinct, they also overlap. Um, and we begin to explore them even here in this introductory topic. So lots to think about, lots to talk about. I'm really looking forward to hearing what people think, what, he what people have to say, um, and engaging with you further. Have a, have a great time exploring. <laughs>